New Fanny and Freddie Loan Mod available. Hey, short sale specialist, default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale agent Mike Wrigley here bringing you the latest short sale information. Hey, thanks for joining us. As reported in DS News this week by guest commentary uh, Darren Bloomquist, Vice President Realty Track, starting July 1st, large numbers of non paying borrowers will have the opportunity to modify existing mortgages through a more streamlined process. Bloomquist continues, this sounds like a good way to reduce foreclosures and prop up home prices, but you'll see shortly the proposed program is oddly risky and likely to encourage additional defaults. So, according to the Federal Housing Finance Agency, FHFA, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will offer a new simplified loan modification initiative to borrowers who are at least 90 days late with their mortgage payments. Modifications can include a lower rate, a long, a, long, a long term stretch to 40 years and principal forbearance in some cases, not reduction, forbearance. Now, the loan, says FHFA, must be owned or guaranteed by Fannie or Freddie. Homeowners must be 90 days to 24 months delinquent and have a first lien mortgage that is at least 12 months old with a loan to value ratio equal to or greater than 80%. Loans that have been modified at least two times previously are not eligible. Now, the program is open to borrowers who have already modified their loans once, perhaps a few years ago when rates were higher. This at least is a good idea, says Bloomquist. Now, so according to Bloomquist, what's the big difference between the new program and the modifications offered previously? No doc modifications. Now, FHFA says the key difference is that borrowers will not be required to document their hardship or financial situation but will be able to accept a streamlined modification offer simply by making the trial payments and agreeing to the terms of the modification. Now, according to Bloomquist, the new government issue is in some ways commendable. They surely want people foreclosed, fewer people foreclosed on, and if that's a way to modify mortgages that makes financial sense for both the lenders and the borrowers, then we should take a look. Unfortunately, the FHFA program misses the mark. It's understandable and even laudable to give troubled homeowners a chance to uh, prove themselves when a loan modification of taking the three trial payments. But eliminating the requirement for the borrowers to show that they have financial hardship before entering the trial modif pro uh, modification program creates a moral hazard, according to Bloomquist. Those who can afford to make the current payments will be rewarded if they strategically default, in which case they can qualify a program in which their new monthly payment is lower. The end result, Fannie and Freddie, and ultimately the taxpayers, get a lower rate of return on a loan without any evidence that lowering the rate of return was necessary. Now, Bloomquist says that the reason for eliminating the hardship documentation requirement is that it eliminates administrative barriers with document collection and evaluation. Bloomquist says it sounds more like a rationalizing for cutting corners rather than a solid defense of doing what's right for the American taxpayer. So, aren't loan known loan no doc loans, how we got into the situation in the first place? Thank you to Mr. Bloomquist for so eloquently saying what needs to be said. Now, is a short sale right for you? Give me a call and let's find out. We also offer a short sale lease back program for those who qualify, allowing you to short sale and stay in your home. Call me for details. To get a better idea of when your home will be worth what you owe, log on to www.shortsaleandloanlot.com info for a free estimate or call me for a free consultation. Call me today, sleep better tonight, you'll be glad you did. I'll look forward to hearing from you.